Hi everyone, this is Gray Rogers, the dietitian with MLK Health Center and Pharmacy. We as a society live in a culture that's very influenced by dieting. Um, and a, a lot of us just assume that if you want to lose weight, you have to cut way back on your calories. And as a dietitian, that can be troubling to see because I have a lot of patients and clients that take that to the extreme. They cut way too far back on their calories and they're doing it in a way that's really not supporting their body um, in a healthy and sustainable way. So the reason this is such an issue is because we all have a calorie baseline. This is something called our resting metabolic rate. So it's essentially how many calories we would burn if we were sleeping all day. Um, a way I like to say it, it's, um, it's the amount of calories that we need to keep the lights on. So they, these are calories or energy that are going towards things like tissue repair, supporting our hormones and immune system, and keeping our brain and nervous system happy. So if my basal meta or resting metabolic rate is around 1400 calories, and I'm consistently eating 1200 calories every day, that's gonna put an unnecessary stress on my body um, and gonna make it hard to sustain that in the long run. On top of that, it's not gonna support any exercise I'm doing. Um, so that's something that has to be considered as well. Um, so we're going to include a link so you can go and see what your best uh, resting metabolic rate is uh, just to have an idea because knowledge is power and make sure that you're eating enough on top of that to support your activity as well. Um, so it's not just about cutting calories when you're trying to get healthy or lose weight. Increasing your activity and also changing up the types of foods that you're eating can be just as effective, if not more so. Thanks for tuning in.